What's up everyone, Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com bringing you from my personal vault another box of Return to Ravnica. There are a lot of cards in this set in the uh, like three to five dollar range which is really good. Uh, meaning there's a lot of value in these boxes and uh, that's, I mean, when you open packs you're never really going to get value, but uh, it's good to not, you know, open up Dragon's Maze or something and just lose all my money right away. So, when I want to open a pack, I try to open. I don't always open packs, but when I do, they return to Ravnica. Marching right along to 50,000 subscribers. Maybe you're watching this and I've already hit it. That would be Nito Bandito. Nito Burrito. We have Heroes Reunion, Goblin Rally, Vandal Blast, and our rare is Mercutial Chemister. Five drop for two, three. You can play a blue, draw two cards, play a red and tap, and discard a card. It deals damage to target creature equal to that discarded card's converted mana cost. Goblin token. Ooh, and a foil aqueous steed. I know we're all looking for those. Don't bombard me with emails. You guys know I've got a ton of stuff on eBay right now, too. I thought for some reason that was a shock line. I'm like, let's say what? Fairy Imposter. Call of the Conclave. Street Sweeper. And Cripborn Horror. Three drop comes into play with uh, X tokens, where X is a life lost by your opponent this turn. That card's always really tempting to take in draft. Even uh, what I found is like one of the best case scenarios is end up having like an explosive impact and that, but you need eight mana then, so that doesn't really happen. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're ahead, you can win more. Slitherhead. Pyro Convergence, Azorius Charm, and, oh yeah, Deathrite Shaman. Recently banned in Modern, beautiful card. One green or black, and for a 1-2 with abilities for days. Awesome. I love me some Deathrite Shamans. Race course, Fury, uh, Race course Fury, Rites of Reaping, Thrill Kill Assassin, and a Dread Boar. Two more, two like, you know, couple buck rares in a row. Red and a black, destroy target creature or planeswalker, which is why it's relevant. Multiple formats. Do do. We have Shrieking Affliction, Selesnia Charm, Brush Strider, and an Epic Experiment Mythic Rare. I'm extremely happy to have gotten this card. Yay. <laughs> X and a black and a blue. Exile the top X cards of your library for each instant and sorcery card with converted mana cost of X or less among them. You may cast a card without paying the mana cost. Then put all cards exiled in this way that weren't cast into your graveyard. All right. An arrest. Practically a rare com un uncommon. Syncopate, Rakdos, Rage Mutt, and Jard's Orders. Four drop, sor excuse me, sorcery. Search your library for up to two creature cards. Reveal them. Put one in your hand, the other into the graveyard, and shuffle. Well, I'm opening this box at a uh, time when Born of the Gods is just about going stale, and I've started to draft Return to Ravnica again because I love opening RTR packs. Gobbling Ooze, V2 Gazi Guildmage, and our rare is a Hollowed Fountain. Yay, Shockland! Blue or white, and an Assassin Token. Gotta love my Assassin Tokens. And uh, so I ordered one of those Jace coins the other night. Minotaur Aggressor, Rixamati Guildmage, 
Rogue's Passage, and oh yeah, Jace AOT, Hallowed Fountain into Jace Architect of Thought. Four drop plus one until the end of next turn. Whenever a creature opponent controls attacks, it gets minus one zero. Uh, uh, minus two is reveal top three cards of your ca- library. An opponent separates them into two piles. Put one pile in your hand, the other into the bottom of your library. And of course, the ultimate, which can happen for each uh, player, search that player's library for a non-line card and exile it. That player shuffles his or her library. You may cast those cards without paying their mana cost. Nice little run there. Shockland into a JCOT. Even though he was reprinted, I still think people like his art here. And this card will remain solidly priced. Dreg Mangler, Tablet of the Guilds, Blood Fray Giant. And a Conjured Currency. Yay! Conjured Currency. I'm so happy to have gotten this card. Six drop. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may exchange control of Conjured Currency and target permanent you neither own nor control. Oh, and a foil Rakdos Tripark. <laughs> so I think I will stream tonight. I mean, by the time you watch this, I will have streamed. Strummed streamed call the conclave street spasm slime molding and a rare is a pithing needle excellent sideboard card pithing needle enters the battlefield name a card activate ability of of sources with chosen name can't be activated unless their mana abilities so as i was saying i'm ready for journey into nyx i'm over born of the gods it's usually about this time right about a month you know, right about a month before the new set. I'd probably bet that's pretty typical for all of us. Ultimate Price. Golgari Charm. And Sphinx of the Chimes. Yay, promo rare. Yay. Uh, six drop, flying, five, six, discard two non-line cards with the same name. Draw four cards. Alrighty. What else? What else? What else? Boy, it's been a while since I've seen a Vraska. <laughs> All right. Tavern Swindler. Selesnia Kirun. Fencing Ace. And a Mana Bloom. That's a thing. Put charge counters on it. Then uh, it's good for fixing and or ramp. Sphere of Safety. Golgari Decoy, very good and limited. Judge is familiar, and a Death's Presence. Yay! Six drop, enchantment. Yay! Whenever a creature you control dies, put X11 one, one target ugh, counters on target creature control where X is the power of the creature that died. Yay! All right. Urban burgeoning. I might just go rip, rip right into a gate crash box right after this, too. I haven't decided yet. Slum Reaper, Rick's Mahdi Guild Mage, Slime Molding, and a Deadbridge Goliath. Four drop for a 5-5 five, five with Scavenge. Enough said. I'm trying to decide exactly how many videos I want to do like before the 50,000 subscriber celebration week. And maybe I want to start like the 50,000 subscriber celebration week when even just like a little bit before I hit 50,000. Aqueous Steed. Hellhole Flailer, Soul Sworn Spirit, and a Tristani! Yay! <laughs> Mythic 425 with a Populate on a Stick. It's tough to, you know, I mean, it's, it's a powerful card. That's a fact. All right. Archweaver, Arcweaver, Hover Barrier. Rectos Rage Mutt, and a Niv Mizzet! <laughs> oh boy, back to back mythics. Niv Mizzet Draco Genius. 5 5 Flyer, and you can pay a blue and a red, and it deals one damage to target creature or player, and that's pumpable, right? So, very valuable. It's an absolute limited bomb, probably played in other formats, uh, which I will not comment on because I don't know. Bless your squall. Starting to build a modern deck this week. Rakdos Kirun, Teleportal, and Hallowed Fountain. 
All right, of the Shocklands, I mean, I'm always happy to see a Shockland with blue in it. Do we have a foil? We have a foil armory guard. Two Hallowed Fountains, notable picks so far. Deathrite Shaman. Dreadbor. Dark Revenant Blows. Rakdos Charm. New Prop Guild Mage. And our rare is a Martial Law. The beginning of your upkeep detain target creature and opponent controls. Can be annoying in draft. Do we have a foil? We do. It's red. Foil Dino Charge. Doobie doobie doo. I just opened up two boxes of Pokemon cards for my Pokemon channel. So if you haven't subscribed over there, it's it's like listed on my main channel. You can just search for Pokemon Headquarters or it's youtube.com backslash poke headquarters. Poke headquarters. Gutter Snipe. Rakdos Key Room. Treasured Find. And a rare is a Counterflux. Two blue and a red. Counter target spell you don't control or you can overload to counter all spells, right? Um... Um, yeah, so I'm happy that I bought these cases of Ravnica and Gatecrash to help, uh, well, I had planned on having them help fund the channel, but now I've just ended up opening up most of them for the channel, and that's okay. Xanakiv Locust, is it Staticaster? And our rare is a Havoc Festival. Six drop, players can't gain life. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player loses half his or her life rounded up. So, very excited to start playing Modern. I think I'm just going to jump right into Modern. I'm not going to futz around with Standard too much anymore. Security Blockade, Fencing Ace, Blood Fray Giant, and our rare is a Precinct Captain. 2-2 two, two, First Striker, very good card. And when it deals combat damage to a player, you put a 1-1 one, one Soldier Creature Token on the battlefield. Kind of want to open some more Born of the Gods, because Daddy wants some more Burmaz. But I only have one box left and one box of Theros, and I had planned on doing Sealed Saturdays with those. But now we're just getting so close to this cycle, I might just open them. Fairy Imposter, Psychic Spiral, Risen Sanctuary, and a Grove of the Guardian. Regular old land, you can pay uh, three and a green and a blue and tap two creatures you control and put an 8-8 green-white elemental creature token, which is legit and limited. Maybe other formats. I mean, if it was trample or flying, it would definitely be in other formats. I don't know. I'm not saying it is or isn't. Codex Shredder? Is it Key Rune? Judge it's familiar. And a Righteous Authority. I absolutely love this card in Limited. I mean, I know it's a rare, so you can't really count on it, but it's plus one, plus one for each card in your hand, which is great. But also, at the beginning of your draw step, um, you get to draw an additional card. Oh, we have a foil back there. A foil Underworld Connections? Okay. That looks beautiful. I will absolutely take that. Beautiful looking card. Wow. Yeah. All right. Heart of the cards, kids. <laughs> All right. Phantom General. Xanakiv Locust. Nivix Guild Mage. And our rare is a Niv Mangus Elemental. One, two. Doodly doo. Oak Street Innkeeper, Thought Flare, Hover Barrier, and our rare. Oh yeah, Overgrown Tomb. Two Hallowed Fountains and Overgrown Tomb, yes. Thank you, Return to Ravnica. Very happy with my pulls. I hope you guys are enjoying this. All right. Soul Tithe, Is It Charm, Slime Molding, and our rare is an Azorius Locators, Elocutors. Gotta love filibuster tokens. Oh, and a uh, foil druid's deliverance. Still have quite a few packs left, and we've seen some pretty sweet pulls already. Super happy with this box. 
I think what I'll do is I'll end up just opening another box of Gate Crash, and then I'll start filming the 50k celebration stuff. Assassin's Strike, Rectos Ringleader, and a Wayfaring Temple. Power is equal to the creatures you control, and every time if it deals combat damage, you get to populate. Yeah, I think uh, growth has slowed down. We were adding at one point like 200 new subscribers a day. We're down to, you know, it's not growing that much. Not nearly as much. So we probably have some time until we hit the 50K is what I'm saying. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we have some time. Heroes Reunion, Dried Militant, and a rare Cyclone Arc Rift. Okay. Two drop, return target, non land permanent. You don't control owner's hand, or you can overload it, which is uh, how it's most often played, right? Basically a win condition and overload. But uh, I think we'll get a couple more boxes in, and then I'll start shooting the 50 packs. Leif Sky Knight, Gobbling Ooze, and Killed Feud. Too long, didn't read. <laughs> um, yeah, so the 50 and 50, the Urza's box and the beta starter deck. And the beta starter deck, the box and instruction manual are already spoken for from a super special guy. Slitherhead, Guild, Koroz, Koroz the Guild Mage, and our rare is a pack rat, okay. Played in uh, mono black. Here's a foil explosive impact. That's the, now that's what you get from having Fritos in your sub, Subway. <laughs> uh, can't say who's getting that box and instruction manual, but I will say that you, when I say who it is later, you will know them. And it is not a YouTuber. Somebody who contacted me. Zorius Justkar. And a rare... Oh, Mizzia Mortars. All right. Two drop, deal four damage. Sorcery speed, but you can overload and deal four damage to all creatures your opponent controls. We are down to five packs. Let's bring it home strong, MTG Headquarters Beardlings. I know we can do it. We can find another Shockland in here. Seek the Horizon. Blister Coil Weird. Nivix Guild Mage. And a Detention Sphere. Played heavily in control builds and standard. In yeah, there's a battlefield, you can exile target, non-land, permanent, not named, detention sphere, and all the permanents with the same name. Very happy. Again, like I said, there's got to be at least $10, $5 rares we've pulled. And I think the price I paid for this box in the case made it somewhere around 70 bucks or something like that. So that's what I'm saying when I talk about Value Town and Ravnica, you know? Phantom General, Azorius Key Rune, Bizarre Crovad and a World Spine Worm. Great! Awesome! Lever Drop 15, 15 Trampler. That's, you know. I'm super happy to get that rare. Ooh, I checked that Mythic rare. In some formats, I'm sure it's played. Just not ones that I play. No disrespect. Security Blockade. Is it Kirun? Corroza Guild Mage. And an Underworld Connection. So go with the shiny one. Very nice. It's Enchant Land. This Enchanted Land has tap, pay one life, draw a card. Down to two packs. So, if you want to see us get to the 50,000 subscriber celebration, it'd be so, I mean, we're so close. If you literally know anybody who's not subscribed, shoot them a text, tell them to subscribe, and, you know, I would super appreciate it. <laughs> Oak Street Innkeeper, Fall of the Gavel, Ultimate Price, and an Ash Salad. Okay. Play, I played this card in my red white devotion deck. 2 2 first strike haste. And whenever it deals, uh, whenever a player casts a spell from a graveyard, Ash Zealot deals 3 damage to that player. Last pack. And then we will, of course, go through the rares as per our usual. Sorry, kick the camera. Shooting videos like crazy today. Seek the Horizon. Zorius Kirun. Psychic Spiral. Hey, at least we finished with a Mythic. I mean, Isperia Supreme Judge. 
Everyone loves their eight drops. Flying, whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. All right. We got a ton of mythics. And that's always good. So we have Asperia, Ash Zealot, Underworld Connections, World Spine Worm, Detention Sphere, Mizium, Mortars, Pack Rat, Guild Few, TLDR, Cyclonic Rift, Wayfaring Temple, Zorius Locators, Overgrown Tomb, yay, Niv Miss It, Niv Magus Elemental, Foil Underworld Connections, which looks beautiful, Regis Authority, Grove of the Guardian, Precinct Captain, Havoc Fistful, Counterflux, Marshall a Hallowed Fountain, Niv Miss It, Trostani, Debridge Goliath, Death's Presence, Mana Bloom, Sphinx of the Chimes, Pithing Needle, Conjured Currency, Jace, Architect of Thought, Another Hallowed Fountain, Jared's Orders, Epic Experiment, Dreadbore, Deathrite Shaman, Cryptborn Horror, and Mercutial Chemister. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. And pre-congrats on the 50,000 50, subscriber celebration. You guys all made this happen on to, onwards to 100,000. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.